Like most things, sound waves obey Newton's laws. To see how, we differentiate again to get the acceleration of the air. The force that produces this acceleration is the difference in pressure at different positions x. This region is being accelerated to the right, this one to the left. The mathematics is closely analogous to that for a wave in a string. We derive the equations explicitly in this link, which produces this expression for the speed of sound. Here, let's look at the analogies. The mass of the air provides the inertia, so for a three-dimensional wave we use the three-dimensional density rather than the line density. Instead of string tension providing the acceleration, we have variations in air pressure. The adiabatic factor gamma, about 1.4 for air, appears because air becomes hotter when you compress it rapidly. See this link for details.